The Druid Communicator is a BlackBerry client that allows the Road Warrior for him to check his voicemail and change his call routing on the road. We have placed side by side the Druid User Portal and the Druid Communicator so that the user can see the power of the Druid Communicator in action. We're going to log in as extension 301 on both the user portal as well as the Druid Communicator. As you can see, there's a unified mailbox at Core Routing. There's a very one-to-one -one relationship between the two. We're going to look at the unified mailbox. And we have logged in and both. And we look at the user portal first. You see a lot of voicemails with the top and the bottom. And so we're going to delete the last voicemail. And you can press delete. After deletion, you'll see that on the BlackBerry client, we're going to check it again, and you can see the same corresponding last voicemail has been deleted on the Druid Communicator side, as shown right here. Now, we're going to see what we can do for each voicemail. So we select a particular voicemail, and you can see that we can actually play, save, or forward the voicemail. We're going to forward the voicemail. You can see the copper directory on both the Druid user portal as well as the BlackBerry communicator. It's one-to-one. -one. So next, we're going to uh, look at other functions. And you can actually save the voicemail on this BlackBerry itself. Next, we'll look at call routing. And we'll enter call routing page on the BlackBerry. And you can see by default on both the user portal and the group communicator, it's ringing 20 seconds before going to voicemail. Now, we're going to create a new lunch rule that goes from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And it will go from Monday to Friday. And in this case, we want it to instantly go to follow me to a number, uh, 866 number, and ring for your timer in 25 seconds. So we're going to save this lunch rule, and next we'll look at it corresponding in the BlackBerry. Now we'll log into the BlackBerry and we should see the corresponding lunch rule. And we will go into BlackBerry, select lunch. And you can see that it follow me and goes to the 866 number. Just to double check, we see that in the lunch. Now in default, you see a mobile bridging where we'll call the extension and the mobile phone at the same time. So we'll see if that is true in the BlackBerry by logging in. And you can see there you have it, the checkbox on the activate mobile bridging. Next, we're going to look at account settings where you can see the mobile number, the email address, and the voicemail settings. And you can see the corresponding same details on your user portal. Next, we're going to the mobile bridging where each call calls the extension and the mobile phone at the same time. And you can do all those functions like record the call, park the call on your BlackBerry. Lastly, you do the mobile dollar where you have the same dial plan on your BlackBerry as you have in your office and uh, BlackBerry will be caught and do a mobile callback. So these illustrate the rich ability and feature and functionality of the BlackBerry communicator where it allows the road warrior to fully exploit his mobility on the road. Thank you.